what is going on you guys hello cancer it is scorpion reds tarot i am back at it again to let you know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of april 2019 thank you guys again for showing me so much love and support you guys always show up and show out so what is going on cancer shout out to all my new subscribers what's going on with you guys i hope that a lot of love and light and prosperity has been reaching you in 2019 and let's see what else we got going on in 2019 so thank you so much for liking sharing and subscribing if this video resonates and you want to book a personal and private reading you can do so by clicking that about tab there is a hyperlink there that says scorpion reds tarot at simply book me again it's scorpion reds tarot at simply book me if this video resonates and gives you some type of insight and if you feel moved to give a love donation a love offering you can do so by um clicking the hyperlink for my paypal in the description all right <clears throat> so you guys let's get into the prayer let me take a quick sip of some water excuse me father god <sighs> Thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of cancer. I just feel like my spirit wants to dance. I feel free for some reason. For some reason, I feel like cancer is like freeing their self. They are wiggling their self free of just certain obligations and things. That this is no longer just, it just feels like a burden to them. I just feel like cancer feels like they can just breathe. I don't know. I could just inhale so clear i just feel so like i can like you're finally inhaling all of the blessings like you're finally taking in some blessings or something and your your energy just feels free for some reason i feel like cancer is just like doing some spring cleaning if yeah like like cancer is doing spring cleaning for some reason um their birthday is coming up soon and I just really feel like Cancer is trying to make certain things happen before their birthday gets here. They have certain things that they want to accomplish by the time their birthday gets here. And the first thing is first is by cleaning up house. So, Father God, I thank you so much for that intuition and that knowing. And that's just something where, you know, Cancer is working within self. You know, inside is something that they want to clean up. So that their outward appearance and their outward environment is reflected of how they're feeling inside. And it's like right now I've been working on me and now it's time to work on my life reflecting my inside. So Father God, thank you so much for that blessing. Please give the sign of cancer guidance for April 2019. And thank you so much for all of the blessings, the lessons and the prosperity, abundance and happiness and freedom that we've been experiencing in 2019, even though it hasn't been easy, but you know, we've sure enough been strong. So Father God, thank you so much for our strength. Thank you so much for our faith. Allow us to continue to move forward. Thank you. Please give us guidance for the sign of cancer. April 2019. Thank you so much. All right. So this is the wild offerings that we are going to see the overall guidance is for this reading, you guys. All right. Thank you so much. Please give me guidance for cancer. April. 2019. Thank you so much. Just give me guidance for cancer. Compassion. So, looks like this reading is going to be centered around having compassion. Um, now honestly, what I'm just getting off of all, all bucks right now is um, that exhale moment. That you know, I just had that exhale. Like I said, um, cancer is freeing itself. They're like having these moments where they're having to like really sit down and face and have some compassion about a lot of things that they've been experiencing, a lot of things that they've just done, and it's just like having compassion towards the situation and just everyone involved and just like facing your own inner demons things that you could have done better you know what i'm saying things that you could have avoided you know and i feel like 
at this stage right now, Cancer is just really, like I said, cleaning up shop they're, they're cleaning up and like i said it starts with self and they're being compassionate with their self and realizing and recognizing the growth and even wanting to clean up certain acts of their self you know what i'm saying and realizing maybe certain things that they done wasn't right and certain things that were done to them wasn't right you know what i'm saying and even though certain things was done to you wasn't cool just trying to move forward with compassion and just saying you know what those people are dealing with some issues and they need to grow and I'm gonna pray for them and just have a compassion and not having like malice and hatred in your heart for the things that were done because at the end of the day it made you stronger so you just gotta like turn that other cheek and just kind of look at it a different way so that you can find you know the closure in a situation especially if you are one of them people that's looking for closure sometimes you just need to have closure and just not finding closure and just get, having some compassion about the situation just be like you know that person maybe didn't deserve me and I'm okay with that and I wish them well and I'm just moving forward I wish them the best that's how you open up that door to that blessing that true happiness that prosperity is you got to have compassion and you got to you know, put love in the situation, Cancer. So that's just what I'm just getting intuitively. So I didn't even read the card yet. It says, as you pray each day for greater compassion, a new self is reborn. Join new people and experiences. Dear Lord, help me feel ever deepening self-acceptance. May I see myself as you see me. Like I said, Cancer is growing. Cancer is growing. And as they're growing, it's just like, I feel like, I feel like a, in a deep sense, like maybe cancer is just like growing so much in a way, like a lot of things that they used to do, a lot of people that they used to hang around, a lot of things that they used to be, that that's just not where their heart lays. It's just like, sometimes it's just hard to accept and just certain things just don't resonate with you no more because you feel like you should be hanging with these people you feel like you should be doing these things and it's like it's hard for them to accept your change and it's hard for you to accept it but it's just like i gotta accept myself because god sees something greater for me god seriously sees something greater for me than just me just staying stagnated at this place you know what i'm saying and and it's like sometimes you gotta truly you got to have compassion for some people because sometimes you got to leave people behind and it's just like they don't understand and it's like you got to in the nicest way possible kind of explain that you're growing and this just ain't me no more. You know what I'm saying? So, cancer's learning how to accept the new them. They're being strong. They're attracting new people, new experiences. They're painting a new picture of what they want their new life to be. Let's see what they need to do to follow their heart right now. Let's give me guidance for cancer. April 2019. Thank you so much. Let's give me guidance for cancer. 2019. Hmm. Bay chakra. Maybe that's your root chakra. And like, it's just, <laughs> oh, it's like win or lose. Like, oh, oh, yeah. New vitality. Whoo, boy, cancer, boy. I'm trying to tell you, like, y'all are fighting right now, young. Y'all are fighting. That's that root chakra right now. Y'all trying to get yourself grounded because you just like in a fight for your life. It's just like win or lose. Like win or lose. I gotta, I gotta get myself grounded. I gotta get myself rooted. I gotta have that, you know, feeling like I'm just protected. Getting grounded and just knowing with that self, just, you know, that new beginnings, that creation. This is that drive. This is that leadership, that independence, being original, being rooted to yourself, knowing who I am. Having that awareness and just being protective of who you are, you know. And this means change is coming. This is number five. Change is coming. 
change and challenges. But this also means freedom and being able to adapt. You know? Win or lose. You're willing to put that fight in. You're willing to put your all into this situation. Because right now, you know that new vitality and <laughs> new New, again, this is number one. New beginnings. New beginnings is coming to you. This is that crown chakra. You having that understanding. That understanding. Mm. Let's get some. My eyes went here. Please clarify. The base chakra, win or lose, new vitality, for cancer, April 2019. All right. Thank you so much. Please clarify. Win or lose, new vitality, base chakra. Ace of Wands in reverse. It's been like, there's been a delay in your new beginnings, and you just like, it's been a delay in your new beginnings. And I feel like right now, the um, challenge for you is. The challenge for cancer right now is, I want to say, oh, eight of pentacles. Okay. There's um, there's a delay in new beginnings for cancer. Okay. You're getting yourself rooted, and you know that this is going to be a fight for your life. Win or lose, your willing and you're determined to go through this challenge and fight for this change because you want this brand new level of understanding just your crown you just you need to get your head together to fight for this new beginning for yourself but you know that there is a delay right now because I feel like you you spread yourself so thin sometimes like there's a level of selfishness and greed there because it's like this person has this scale here, you know, they have this little Libra scale here and, but yet they're not giving anything to anyone, you know, and it's like Alice and the Mad Hatter is sitting there with their face frowned, like, are you about to give me something? I see you weighing this shit out, but is you, like, you got all of this food, you got all of this stuff, but is you about to give us anything? And this is the Eight of Pentacles right here. This is someone that kind of says that they're trying to work on themselves, but at the end of the day, they're not really working on themselves the way that they try to put that facade out that they're putting that work in. And and, and it's like they're a shady salesman. You know what I'm saying? Like they go around and they boast and they brag on their abilities and their crafts and how good their work is. And at the end of the day, when you get it, it's a fake Chanel bag. You understand what I'm saying? It's not even real not even remotely close to real Chanel quality, but they just got you for real Chanel money. And it's like they don't even care. You know what I'm saying? Like this person doesn't care about their reputation and how they look out in the streets and, you know, the things that's going on in their environment and how people are happy or unhappy as long as they're getting what they want out of the situation. It's just like, who gives a shit? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> And it's just something that needs to change because you're spreading yourself so thin. You're spreading yourself so thin that when you do offer and give things to people, it don't even it like they, they feel like they're an option. They feel like they're giving rations. And like everyone is unhappy but you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't care the fact about you giving them some bullshit-ass product. You know what I'm saying? Like, your whole thing is that you're trying your best to balance yourself out to please everybody. But it's like, why are you trying so best to please so many damn people? Why don't you just focus on pleasing one customer the right way? 
so that you can get a good review so that you can change your reputation instead of trying to spread yourself so thin and give to everybody so much that your reputation is shit you know so <laughs> that's why it's like you, you you're having to go through a win or lose battle right now but you're having to go through this change. You're having to go through this transition. You're you're having to go through this challenge and having to adapt and being daring. You know what I'm saying? It, it's time. Like, it's really, really time. It's really, really time. This is that throat chakra also. This is that blue, that throat chakra. It's time for you to also start and to open up your voice and speak up. About the things that you feel really truly deep in your heart. I feel cancer that you hold yourself back a lot. And no one really knows that you out here trying to please all of these people. And spreading yourself so thin. And it's like. I feel like cancer battles with a lot of stuff inside. And they just don't know what to say or how to feel or what to do. But they get themselves in these situations. And that's why it's about you being compassionate. Because, like, if you really look at this, don't nobody in this card look happy. And I feel like that's why they're trying to tell you to be compassionate. Because at what point are you going to care about your responsibility as a craftsman or as, as someone who is... You know, you got to care about your reputation. You can't just go out here and boast and brag. Oh, yeah, I'm the, t you know, boop, 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 boop. But at the same time, like, it's just propaganda and lies. You know what I'm saying? And then you upset. And you wondering why people look at you the way that they look at you. But why, why do they look at you like that? Look at you. Look at you and look at you. <laughs> Whatever the song that comes from. <laughs> look at you. Look at you and look at you. <coughs> I feel like I need to get, 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 get one of these rebel cards. Oh, boom, boom, clouds. Yeah, mash up my flower. Me and my fake Jamaican accent. Mash up my flower. For ocean. Anyway, I'm going to get like a rebel deck card for y'all in this situation. Cause I just want to get some like kind of cut flow on see as to what <laughs> advice is going on here in this situation. Because it's just like cancer is opening up their heart and they are being more compassionate because they're really fighting for change. And it's just like I really feel like cancer just been in this way of being for so long. They and I feel like they feel some type of way when somebody say something to them about this reputation that they that they got they get really offensive you know what i'm saying they get really really offensive they get really offended excuse me i feel like when the lose cancer is willing to try to work to change that since be fucking grateful shit could be much worse so i feel like right now <laughs> Uh, and what is this other thing that flipped over? You think someone is lying, and they are. Ooh, bitch. Ooh, what the fuck is popping off with that, honey? Who, 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 who? You need to be fucking grateful. She could be much worse, okay? So I feel like cancer. You're definitely having to, it's two different situations that you're having to give yourself to right now. And I feel like you're trying to change that. You're really trying to change it because you just, I feel like you want to focus on yourself. And I feel like vocally, vocally, you want to get yourself grounded enough to say to someone, like, win or lose, like, I just, like, I want this new life like I know in my brain like I just I want this new life like I'm grounded I just tch, win or lose I'm out to go for self you know what I'm saying one five and one okay 
one by the one that equals seven that equals to like contemplation withdrawal knowledge wisdom spirit you know what i'm saying they are just being spiritually guided to withdraw from a situation and it's like they are being grateful because shit could be worse they could be in a much fucked up situation than what they're in you know however you think someone is lying and they are so let's dig into this Ooh, honey bunny put in pie let's see what's going on why don't we? Because the bitch is nosy. Come on now. As y'all know, it's me. Say I. I. Facts. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Who lying about the clothes that be bad? <laughs> Who be lying <laughs> about them clothes they be bad? In the words of my baby girl, Big Kim. Lil' Kim, Lil' Kim. Niggas be lying about the clothes they be back. Who be lying, bitch? Come on, Cancer. Who's lying to Cancer? What is going on? Ooh. Ooh, what you gonna do? Ooh, ooh, what you gonna do? Secrets coming out, bitch. Ooh, they coming out about this love. They coming out about this love. They coming out about this love. That force wars, hold on. Cause uh, cancer been contemplating. Uh, nah, they been debating. Uh, uh, hold up, what's going on? Uh, about this love, about this love. Ooh, 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 about this love, about this love. What's going on about this love, y'all? Whoo, cancer. I feel like y'all intuition been driving y'all crazy about something. Y'all know good and goddamn well that somebody's been lying. Somebody's been holding some secrets. And you already know. It's like you already know something. You know what I'm saying? Because you think that someone is lying. So you got a little bit of something, something. But you ain't got all of the something. But you got something. You got enough of something to be like, bitch, you lying about the clothes you be buying. Where the fuck you get that outfit from, bitch? You understand what I'm saying? So, I feel like they might be a cancer man. That is the person that they live with. You know this bitch is a broke-ass broke bitch. <laughs> not, not to be shady. But you know your partner's finances. You know what I'm saying? So, you know this person lives paycheck to paycheck. And they barely got an inch to pinch some money for lunch. For, you know what I'm saying? To go buy lunch until payday. So, some said mayday. Mayday. File on the plate, nigga. Um, where the fuck is you getting all this money to be buying all this new Fashion Nova ass got there? Where the fuck, you miss Fashion Nova now? Where the fuck is all this money coming from? You feel like something ain't right in the motherfucker. Something ain't right in the Kool-Aid. Don't drink the Kool-Aid, bitch. You like, mm-mm. No, 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 no. And I feel like your worst fear has turned into reality about a situation. But is this someone that you really fucking love? This is someone that you put a lot into that you thought was your soulmate. Okay? Something. But I feel like you glad that your intuition kicked in. Because you being grateful. Because what if it didn't? What if you would have always kind of like believe the facade of the situation and, and, and you know what I'm saying that intuition ain't kicked in for you to get grounded and you just like win or lose I got to speak up because like you know fuck that shit I can do me I can blow the whistle do, do, do. blow the whistle boo, boo, boo. blow the whistle boo, boo, boo. bitch don't make me motherfucking blow the whistle okay foul on the play bitch I love you but I thought about this shit long and hard, okay? I feel like a nigga, I feel like a nigga like was soaking up his balls and hey, I got a question, like when you be in the bathtub for y'all men, if y'all take a bubble bath, do y'all balls like float up to the top of the water? No? Okay, I'm sorry. That was might have been inappropriate. I just why well, I feel like the balls just be okay, I'm sorry. I'm reloading. I'm reloading. I am. Yeah. I feel like some of y'all was just like soaking y'all balls all in a motherfucking nice ass olive oil motherfucker olive oil goddamn you know nice little silky Mr. Bubble ass goddamn watermelon splash bubble bath and shit like that like y'all just say you know I just need to motherfucking soak and pamper myself and y'all just had to go here y'all had to go here with it you know what I'm saying close your eyes 
and just get in the clouds real quick because you like motherfuckers is trying me. They denying me. They denying the fact that I will motherfucking snap, crackle, and pop a bitch up in here. You understand what I'm saying? And I don't want how to do it. So let me separate myself. Hold on. Mm -mm. Let me get myself grounded and get my, my thoughts together because win or lose right here, I'm about to motherfucking, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So y'all had to go there with it. Y'all had to go the fuck there with it, Samuel. Why do I feel y'all name is Samuel? Is there, is there a cancer man named Sam? Samuel? Samuel is your balls floating in the motherfucking Alabama suds. Mr. Bubbles. Samuel? Fuck. Samuel's like, what the fuck is going on with this bitch? Okay? What? What? That bitch came in here, her hair all died and shit. Motherfucker coming in here with fucking 200 some dollar braids and shit. Bitch, where you get all this money? Get all these braids. This mother bitch, you ain't even get no, you ain't even work last like year. You ain't even get no tax money. Bitch, what? What? Samuel said no, ma'am. Said no, ma'am, Miss Pam. I do not like green eggs and ham. And I see you, bitch. I am very clear about what the fuck has been popping off and dropping off up around this motherfucker. Okay? And this energy can be a reverse. It could be a woman. Look, you've been soaking your motherfucker. You've been soaking, bitch. You've been soaking so you don't get the choking. You was soaking so you don't get the ch you Look, you had, your, you had your shoe on. You was trained on ready, bitch. You would tie them up like spaghetti. You was trained on ready. And you would flip them around like spaghetti. Just like, you know, the fork. You just twirl them up. You would twirl them up in your motherfucking hand. Okay, bitch? You was trained on ready. Okay? You had to get your mind together, but you was trained to go. You was trained to go. Girl, I ain't got time for it. They done came out of it. They said, look, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't setting myself back and contemplating about this shit. No more. No more. Blow the whistle. Blow the whistle. Woo, woo, woo. I'm about to blow the whistle. Let me get my thoughts together so I can figure out how the fuck I'm communicating. Because one of y'all motherfuckers been lying around this bitch. You understand what I'm saying? And you might be dealing with a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. Okay? Or another Pisces. Another water sign. Bitch. Okay, let me get, let me, let, let's, let's dig off into the love situations. Okay, Cancer? Because I, I, listen. Hold on. Somebody been out there popping that pussy doo-doo brown. I want to rock, I want to rock. Somebody been trying to rock. Cancer said, I ain't, I ain't rocking. Pop that pussy doo-doo brown. Bitch. Rocking too fucking much. And I ain't playing with your goddamn ass no goddamn more. Okay? <laughs> I ain't playing. Alright? You just ain't heard what I'm saying. I ain't playing. I'm just trying to be compassionate. And I'm going to try my best. And I feel like cats have been sitting back, honey. They've been marinating in their tub. <laughs> They've been marinating in the tub. <laughs> trying to put some love into this situation, honey. Because it's like, I love you. I do love you. I do. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. But I ain't playing with you. I don't know what the fuck you been doing out there. Because cancer feel like it's something going on. They don't trust this person that they've been dealing with. Okay? Whoever this Gemini, Libra, <laughs> or this Aquarius is, this air sign. Forgiving and learning. I don't think cancer is willing to forgive. I don't feel like cancer is willing to forgive. And I feel like it's something that they're not learning from this situation. They still not learning. A wedding. Free yourself. Oh, you want to free yourself from this commitment. You want to free yourself from a commitment from someone that you don't trust and you think is lying. You want to free yourself from a commitment from someone that you don't trust and you think it's lying and you feel like you can't forgive this person because they're not learning. They're not learning. They're not learning. And or someone that's dealing with a cancer and they're wanting to, on the reverse end, they're wanting to free themselves. They're not playing anymore. They don't trust cancer no more. <laughs> they feel like there's no point on trying to forgive this person because they ain't learning shit. 
and they want they want cancer to really like ground themselves and like win, lose, or draw. Like communicate with me and tell me what the fuck is going on so I can start this new I can start this new beginning for myself. You know what I'm saying? They feel like some, they feel like <laughs> things can be worse. But somebody's fucking lying. You know what I'm saying? Things ain't that bad right now in the situation. But someone is most definitely lying about something. And it's just like I don't trust you. And I, I'm not playing no more. I'm not playing. You ain't heard what I'm saying. I ain't playing. Let's dig deeper. Let's dig deeper. Let's dig. Let's go in the pocket. Mm-hmm. We got to go deep in the pocket, honey. Mm-hmm. Let's find out what is going on. Give us deeper insight in regards to what is going on into this love situation with cancer for April. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Please give me insight in regards to this love situation with cancer for April. Thank you so much. What is this? Unawakened. And they're not ascending. Cancer. Come on now. You still unawakened about this change and stuff that we've been talking about since forever. I knew the big dream. I, it, it's always about you and your big dreams. Always about you and your big dreams, Cancer. But I ain't, listen, I'm a Scorpio. I ain't never about to get in the way of nobody today and, and what they dreaming about. I feel like it says that you're unawakened. You're unawakened and you're not ascending in order to reach this big dream that you want to devote yourself to. Divine masculine. Pause. I got it. So, this is deep right here, y'all. Cancer, like the center energy. The center energy right here is. Cancer has big dreams. They have big dreams, right? They have big dreams. And they always look into the moon. I always feel like Cancer is always like, if it's not cold or whatever, they like to be outside. They like to sit outside, especially at night, by themselves and just think right under the stars and the moon. And they always like dreaming and manifesting like these big dream, like this big picture that they have in their brain, something that they want to truly devote themselves to. And I feel like what cancer is trying to do right now, especially the cancer men, they are trying to really focus on the big picture so they could truly be devoted and be the divine masculine energy that they truly want to be. I feel like they're trying to ascend. They really want to ascend, but they're so unawakened. Like they're still... The cancer men is still very unawakened right now. And that's why they're not ascending. You see what I'm saying? They're not ascending right now. And it's like, even though they have these big dreams and things like that, and they want to devote themselves to this big dream, and they want to be, you know, I feel like all of these tattoos, it kind of like tells a story of just like all of these trials and tribulations that they've been going on in their life. And I feel like... <laughs> They just want to be a better man. And I feel like right now they're probably putting things on pause right now because they're trying to focus on the big dream, but they got to awaken to, they have to open up. You know what I'm saying? They have to open up. And I feel like for the women, it's just like they're unawakened and they're not ascending because they're focused on this big dream and they're devoted they have this devotion to this divine masculine that honestly might have put them on pause. You understand? I feel like the women are devoted to someone that might have put them on pause. 
And there's some secrets going on. You already know that this person is lying to you. You all, you know, things could be worse. But you already know with this moon, you know, there's some secrets going on in the background. But you love this person. But you know you got your mind together about this situation. You know you don't trust this person and you're really tired of playing around. And it's been too much that's happened. It's been too much that happened. Either you're married to this person or y'all are all damn near married. Y'all been with each other so long with each other so long. And or you wanted to get married to this person. But at the end of the day, it's like you need to free yourself from the situation. But I see there's a delay. There's a delay in that. There's a delay in you freeing yourself from this situation. I don't know if that was backwards or not, but I feel like I don't know if I ended up moving it. Yeah, you're delaying. You're still being devoted to someone that put you on pause. And you're unawakened by this shit because you, you're still worshiping this person as your divine masculine because you got these big dreams in your head about this situation. But this person put you on pause. But the male cancers, they're putting their situation on pause because they're focusing on growing. They're focusing on growing. Let's let's find out here what might be going on in the shadows. Why is this why is cancer underwitching and why are they just not ascending right now? I feel like I always have to dig deeper with cancer. Y'all are always the tricky ones. I always, always. Cause it's just like you got all these tats on you. It tells a story of everything that you done been through in your life. What is it saying? Misguided. You still misguided. I feel like you're still misguided in your thinking. And you're still unavailable emotionally. And he says judgmental. I feel like... I feel like you're still misguided even though you're trying to work through that you're trying to work through not being misguided anymore and I feel like you're still unavailable to people but you got to work on your judgment. And I want to say you need to be a little bit more judgmental towards people. I feel like you need to be a little bit more judgmental to people. And right now, you, you're your own player. Right now, you're very elusive. You're very secretive. No, I feel like you need to be more judgmental about these. You're, you're attracted to very elusive People that are somewhat unavailable to you. And people that medicate. Like, I feel like you're, I feel like for some reason, what was causing cancer to be so misguided, okay? I feel like for a long time in their life, like, they were attracted to, like, the bad girls or the bad boys. Do you see what I'm saying? And they, they like, they, they were so misguided. You see what I'm saying? They really didn't have anything or anyone to kind of shine that light on. This is why you attract these type of people. This is why you like to roll around in the mud and the dirt because you feel more comfortable there. I feel like cancer wants better for themselves, but at the same time, I feel like, they're so used to this type of thing. And I feel like the people that love them, they don't love them back because they give their heart to them too easily. I feel like cancer is attracted to people that are just as elusive and toxic that like to medicate. You know what I'm saying? These people that like to drink and party and smoke and just, you know what I'm saying? Like they like these people that are kind of just like them in a sense. It's like they want better. You know what I'm saying? In their mind, they have these big dreams here of the big fish. You see what I'm saying? But it's unavailable to you because you're so misguided and you have to work on not being misguided no more. That's why this is in the reverse because they're trying to work their way out of this energy. Do you see what I'm saying? Because they are mis uh, uh, unawakened and they're not ascending 
because they were so misguided. And you want this big dreams, but it ain't available to you because you're attracted to people that you're not necessarily using your judgment. You should be a lot more judgmental about these people. Listen, you should be a lot more judgmental about these people. You should be more judgmental about these people, but you're not. You need to think more about the type of people that you are allowing in your life. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, if they're elusive, then what are you chasing after them for? What are you chasing after them for to end up you you, you end up chasing after people that are elusive and mysterious? Yes, they're elusive and mysterious. But at the end of the day, you heartbroken and you be sitting back medicating. And when y'all met each other, y'all probably used to party and get drunk and fucked up like that or whatever then these people just disappearing and you just laid back like this trying to figure out what the fuck happened you know and those are the people that you love not the ones that are available to you you love the ones that are not available to you the one that you should have had better judgment and should have never got involved with any fucking way that's what you're unawakened about that's why you're not ascending you want these, you want this, and you want to devote yourself to this, and you want to be a better man, and or for the women, you want this divine masculine, you want that, but the type of people that you're attracted to, what you're attracting in your life, you need to use better judgment, and you need to be more unavailable to these type of energies, you know what I'm saying? And maybe like these people that you're hanging around with, you need to have a little bit more co uh, compassion and just like, look, <laughs> I ain't trying to be like doing this with y'all like this no more. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm trying to ascend. I really wasn't fully aware about how I was looking out here. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just ready to change this energy a little bit. I ain't trying to be out here looking crazy like this no more. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm trying to try something better in my life. I'm trying to attract something better in my life. I'm focused on my big dreams. I'm trying to devote myself to change right now. You know what I'm saying? As you pray each day for greater compassion, a new self is born, drawing new people and new experiences. Dear Lord, help me feel ever deepening self acceptance. May I see myself as you see me. And I feel like God has really been moving in Cancer's life in a way where they really have been seeing themselves in a different light. Then compassion comes out again. Compassion comes out the freak again. Ain't that something? Oh my God. It says, be gentle with yourself. Forgiveness will set you free. See the light in yourself and in others. And I feel like especially for cancers that have been gone through something and like you've been going through change and like maybe you've done some type of wrong for a compassion to come out twice like this. I feel like you guys are like y'all have been facing y'all demons and, 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 and certain things and y'all know that y'all are attracted to the wrong type of people. Y'all know that y'all give up and y'all destroy good relationships chasing after some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like y'all like to chase the entertainment and the drama for some reason. You know what I'm saying? Y'all y'all like the excitement and all of the hoopla and everything like that. But at the end of the day, it doesn't do anything but cause a whole bunch of more chaos and drama. But some people like that, though. Some people really like that. If it's not a whole bunch of drama and foolishness and all that craziness going on, it's not exciting. They feel like the relationship is boring. And right now, I feel like Y'all know the energy that's been going on with cancer, okay? So, you know, y'all know that cancer is not innocent. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people that are on the receiving end. You know what I'm saying? And that this energy, they were the ones, they are the cancer that received this type of energy. You see what I'm saying? They were the victim. You see what I'm saying? But then there's other people, you know what I'm saying, who were the ones that dished it. You just look in the comment section. You'll see. But at the same time, it's like cancer is trying to grow and they're trying to be more compassionate with their self. They're realizing that they broke a lot of people's heart and that they hurt a lot of people. Like they they know. Excuse me, guys. All these phones. What's going on? Hello? 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 They know. And I feel like they're just trying to every day just just grow 
just grow and it, they, I feel like cancer is like really really sorry and they're really trying to devote their self to change that's why they're putting a lot of things on pause but I need you to stop medicating cancer because I feel like y'all still medicating and things like that I need y'all to stop medicating okay be gentle with yourself don't drink like that be gentle with yourself okay be gentle with yourself and your body. You got to take care of yourself and your body. You got to forgive yourself for things that, listen, we all grow. You know, we all grow. Be gentle with yourself, baby. Be gentle with yourself. Be compassionate with yourself and with others. And, you know, if you ever bump into these people again, just open up your heart and, like, truly tell them, like, how you feel. So, for some reason, I feel like Cancer wants to know if they could talk to this person. You know. So, for the people that are dealing with the Cancer, they want to know what would this Cancer say? You know, we're at this place where we're just being compassionate. We're being thoughtful of other people's feelings. We're, you know. What would you say? What would cancer say to the cross walker? Something is still missing for me. And I'm trying to figure out what it is. Okay. Can't say it's going through something where they're really, really working on self. Like I said, they're working on self. And they're learning how to be more compassionate and deal with the things that they've done. You know? It's a, it's not a, it's like when they say it's not about you, it's me. It really is. You know what I'm saying? It's something that they got to work on with their self. They're being gentle with their self. They're trying to work through forgiving. I can't seem to fight, find the right words to say to you. This is what flipped out. I can't seem to find the right words to say to you. She got a new deck of these that just came out. I got to get these, man. I cannot wait to see what these new decks say. And I know I'm just like going bonkers on buying decks, but they keep coming out with new shit. I'm sorry. It says, I can still feel you. I thought about you a lot lately okay so that is what the cancer has to say to the cross watcher so for the cancer that wants to know what the person that is not in their life would say to them at this point in time when both of y'all are working through this point of compassion what would this person say to the cancer What would this person say to the cancer? I can't handle your words right now. Okay, so they can't handle your words right now. But you are an angel. Damn. <sighs> That's heavy. Should I go deeper? Oh, my heart feels so deep. It feels so deep. Y'all, why y'all do this to me? Oh, I can't ignore the signs I'm receiving any longer. I know I screwed things up and honestly have no idea how to fix it. Mm-mm-mm. Ooh, cancer. I'm just going to leave that like that. So that's like a peak of... Mm, that good old twin flame reading. Listen, y'all. If this video resonated, I need y'all to hit that like button. I need y'all to hit that like button. If I want to book a personal private read, and y'all go ahead and do so. Y'all be compassionate, cancer. I know I'm leaving off with this energy. I got that feeling. Mm, 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 mm. Baby, baby, I got that feeling. Listen, Cancer. Whoever you're dealing with, 
that you feel like it's a whole bunch of secrets going on. I need you to get. It's time to clean shop. It's time to clean shop. You got your mind on the prize. You focus on that big dream. You focusing on devoting yourself on that big dream. And either becoming that true divine masculine. Or attracting. Excuse me. That divine masculine to you. And that's why you're willing to put certain things on pause. Because you're not willing to just be misguided and keep attracting the wrong thing to you anymore. Anyway, I love you. Get yourself grounded. Speak up. If you want this new vitality, you want this new beginning. You want to be a leader. You want this independence. You want this creativity. This creativity. This new drive. Time to get yourself grounded and speak up. Like I said, 5 plus 1 plus 1, that equals 7. Withdrawal, knowledge, contemplation, wisdom, spirituality. It's time to tap in. It's time to tap in. I love you guys. Peace.